All right, hey everybody, David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com here, and in this video, I want to go over how to wire DMX. So DMX is the signal that we use from lighting consoles like this to control lights like these, and wiring it is really simple. Let's dive in. First thing I'm going to do is grab a DMX cable. I'm going to take it out of my console. and plug it in to my first light. Now we can see the console is connected to the first light and if I select my first fixture here I'm able to get control of my light. Red, green, and blue. Let's leave it on green. Now we'll go ahead and plug in our second light. Grab my cable. Perfect. Come out of the first light and right in to the input on the second light. So we've used the DMX output on the first light. We're coming to the second light here. So now we've come out of our console, into our first light, from the DMX out of our first light, into our second light. Now, turn that guy on. Awesome. Perfect. Now we see that we've got one light that's red and the other one is green. It's Christmas time. Not really, but <laughs> we'll change that to red and blue. That looks nice. So I want to go ahead and take this a step deeper, and that's by using what's called a DMX splitter. I've got one right here. This is one from a company called Entech, and it's called the D-Split. And all a DMX splitter does is split and amplify the signal. And this can be really great if you've got a lot of fixtures because you can only use up to 32 on what's called a daisy chain, a wiring through system like this, or if you just need to go to two opposite sides of the stage and you don't want to go all the way to one side and then all, all the way across to the other side, you can use a splitter to make your wiring easier. So, I'm just going to put my splitter here and plug it into power, and then I'm going to go ahead and use a short DMX cable, in this case a 3 to 5 pin adapter, to come out of my console, which is 3 pin, and then come into my splitter, which is 5-pin. Then, on the output side, I'm going to plug in this first light. And then if my other light was at the other corner of the stage, I'd just have it come straight from the light. So I've got it plugged into the light. Use this cable to plug in on another output of the splitter. Perfect. This particular splitter has four outputs, two or three pin and two or five pin, but you can use all four of them. But now, I can move my faders, and I can see that I have control again of both lights through the splitter. Now, if you guys enjoy this video and you want to learn more about DMX and lighting, head over to LearnStageLighting.com where I've got a free guide that you can download to learn more about lighting and how to apply it to your particular needs. I'll see you guys over there, and be sure to subscribe here on YouTube. Thanks.